this project I'm gonna be working with a grayscale and uh, from a book named Adorable Animals um, so let's see what we come up with I like to start with my lightest color just highlight where the light is hitting and the good thing with gray scale is that they pretty much guide you to where the highlights are so and he has your shadows right here so that's pretty neat the only tricky part is like the colors that you might use and in what order they say normally start with your lightest so that's what I go based on and um, next one is my PC 1003 I'm going over my white but very lightly or you can even leave white spots if you want it's up to you I'm putting more pressure here just because I want this one to be lighter than this one So right here I'm going to change colors. I'm going back to my white. I'm going depending on how gray you can say the picture looks. Like the lighter the gray, then the lighter the color. That's, that's what I normally go by. Those are my rules. So the lighter the gray, the lighter the color. And the darker the gray, the darker is your color that you're going to be adding to your picture. I'm just going to go light handed here, very light. I'm trying to use light pressure and a bit medium pressure. Um, the lighter you go, the more layers you can add. So, I think I'm going to have enough of this. I'm going to go here. Make it also this color. And I dropped a pencil. Okay. Well, I am almost done. <laughs> next, I'm going to go with my next layer. And it's PC918. And you're going to see how I'm going to blend them together. As we go. And how far I'm going to go. I mean, you might want to go back with your uh, with your prior color because that's what we're trying to do blend the colors together 